Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Wine Brewery and it's the Landmark beer. I really like the design of the bottle of this. It's got a very, very good feel about it. It says it's a hellish good beer. It's 5.5% ABV. And it's an award-winning citrus ale with a distinct dry and hoppy finish. Sounds good to me. It's been another warm day. Let's get this beer open. With the old uh, <laughs> BB Barfly bottle opener. Okay, this got a gold medal at the 2010 SIBA Awards. It's vegan friendly. Let's just get into it. Let's get in. Okay. Okay, the beer's coming out. It's very, very flat. just get the beer up close no head at all what I mean I don't I shouldn't really have said flat what I mean is that the, it hasn't produced much of a head it's probably I don't know a, a little coin thickness in the head there is this bottle condition uh, let's have a look Yes, this beer has been bottle conditioned to produce a lower fizz, more in keeping with the draft ale. Okay, so what they're looking to do with this beer then is just to make a nice smooth tasting beer which hasn't got much carbonation at all. Let's get the aroma. It's very, very light. Again, I am getting grapefruit. And it's a little spicy, which is quite interesting. This is making me thirsty. Let's get on with the tasting. That has got a very, very powerful grapefruit, good, solid, bitter taste to it. It's very good. The colour of this beer, as you can see, it's definitely amber, slightly hazy, but I did give it a rigorous pour, so that's understandable cool this beer down a bit just because it's so hot I haven't cooled it too much it's probably down to about six seven degrees which is ideal temperature for a real ale for a bottle conditioned beer It's got that, as I say, it's got that hoppy, very, very fruit, hoppy, grapefruit taste. It's one of these where I've just reviewed another beer, so it's one of these where if I had an empty stomach, I'd probably want to knock this straight back. And get another one. It's one of them where it's so, it's very, very refreshing.
there's something else there as well. There's something I'm, I can't, I'm, I, I am a little bit quiet in this review, but there's something there which I am trying to put my finger on and I can't quite get it yet, but I will get there. And that seems to be, correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems to be the quality of the water they're using. It seems to be top, top quality. Like, I know they brew in mid Wales where most of, or a lot of Britain's spring water comes from either Scotland or Wales. They, they must have a spring water source because you definitely get the you definitely get the cleanness of the water in this brew. I know that sounds probably a little strange to be to be able to pick up the the quality of the water, but it's something that is definitely prominent in my mind when I'm drinking this pint. Again, slight, very, very slight toffee, toffee uh, taste as well. Just ever so slight. It's very, very, it's, it's a complex beer, which the more complex, the better. The more you have to think about a beer, the better in my eyes. It's not just something they produce that you slug back and you get no taste. This is what these beers are all about. These beers are about taste. And it's about producing a difference from, from the mass-produced slop that gets bought by the millions. And really shouldn't. People, people really... But I think there is a turning point. I think people are finally getting around to the drinking beer as you would a wine. Why not? Beer has got just as much, even more flavour than your classic wine. You see these people in supermarkets, they're picking up a bottle and, and, and they're reading the back and, and, they think, and they're talking to their husband or their wife and they oh, should we get this bottle of wine tonight? And you're thinking, just go down a few more feet into the beer part of the supermarket and pick up some fantastic coffee porter or, or a strong taste in American IPA or this and it will be just the same if not better I think real elves and craft beers have hit a turning point where people are now recognizing that beer has actually got a lot more flavor and should be it, unfortunately, we've got a bit of a class war. There'll always be a class war, but I think there's barriers that ha that are being broken, and it it's exciting times. <sighs> okay, internet site for this brewery is www.thewinebrewery.co.uk. That's how you spell the wine brewery. Check out their website. Very good. The, oh, the ABV. I, have, I don't think I've given the ABV. It's five point five percent, and stored upright for twenty four hours. Best served at fifteen degrees. Very very good beer. Pint bottle. Time for a rating. The landmark for me. You've got that very, very good, I'm not, I think if I was to be a gambling man, I'd say they're using the Cascade Hop. It's, it's got that great grapefruit flavour, it's very, very good, it's got a good bitter and a good IBU. And again, the slight hint of toffee in there is great. It's a very still beer, so you could knock it back after a hot day. Like I said, I just reviewed another beer, so I can't really fit it all in. But it definitely gives me that impression. On that basis, 
and on the basis of the spring water that that is a first for me I've been reviewing beer for 14 to 15 months and I can definitely get the spring water from mid Wales in there comment on this I really want to know what you think if you've tried it but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go eight very very strong score I'm gonna go eight out of ten I can see why it's won won a gold medal at the SIPA Wales and West more than likely beer awards right thanks for watching the real ale guide you can email me at real ale guide at googlemail.com Facebook is facebook.com forward slash real ale craft beer and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash real ale today Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I love your comments on YouTube though. Please always go to YouTube first, comment, subscribe if you like. I'll always answer your comments. Thanks for watching. Check me out soon. Cheers.